Coach, you get an explanation uh, at the end of the game on the on the her play after the challenge was successful. Um, he got the rebound. He's, why was there a jump ball? Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what we asked. The same question. No, we, we, I thought the rule was when the whistle stops, whomever has the ball, they, they take possession of the ball. And I was told that because the whistle stopped and everybody stopped play, it doesn't matter. So, um, Obviously, you talked about missed free throws the last game. Uh, it's it seeming to rear its ugly head again, yeah. especially tonight in such a close game. Yeah, I mean, it was a part of it. And um, I'll tell you guys what I told our team. For three and a half quarters, you know, our game plan discipline was at a high level. We were executing. And as the game started to get a, you know, a little close, we get tired, a little fourth quarter, whatever it is. Um, teams, they upped their level of physicality, and we started to turn the ball over and not execute as well. And we let them right back in the game. And that's what it is, is, is our free throws, is our execution, is our turnovers. And it's not one guy, it's all of us. We're all in it. We're all a part of it. It's an opportunity for all of us to get better. This, this crap hurts, losing games like this, but you know it's a part of it, and, and we have to learn from these moments. And you know hopefully it doesn't take another three or four games, but you know we haven't been winning these, and, and, and this is a moment where we, we go back, we watch film, uh, we don't finger point, we're in it together, and we, we, we figure it out together. In those kind of moments, you know, when you when you really need a bucket, I mean, who do you who do you look to, I guess, to be like an organizer for for you on offense? Well, we got three guys out there that are all capable: uh, Zion, Bi, CJ, and the ball was in all their hands at one point um, to settle us down and get us good looks, and they did for the most part. But we didn't do enough to win the game. That's what it boils down to. And what was just your vantage point on the uh, the inbounds? Uh, pass what point four seconds left? Uh, I'll take, uh, take responsibility for that. Um, in hindsight, they didn't have enough time to throw it back to the, the inbounder, so we should have took a guy off the ball and just tracked uh, whomever and then just stay at the rim. And if they throw it to the rim, we got a guy there, plus we got four guys. So that's on us. That's on me as, as, as a coach. That's the that's area where I need to get better. And, uh, and overtime in particular, it seemed like so many of the possessions came down to right before the shot clock buzzer, you're getting the shot off. Uh, I guess, what did you see? Just the way the, the offense kind of slowed down so much yeah. there at the end. It did. It slowed down. We got stops. We, we stopped running. But the biggest thing is give them credit. Those guys are physical. Bain, um, Marcus Smart, Jaron Jackson is tracking everybody, coming to block shots, Tillman. And they... When, when they got tougher, when the game got tougher, they picked up their level of physicality and they made it difficult on us. And that's this is where we have to grow. We got to learn to get to our spots, execute with force and pace, uh, make solid passes, and then when we get to the free throw line, make our free throws. And you know, like I said, for three and a half quarters, we did it. And in the last five minutes, five six minutes, we we, we didn't. And you mentioned the free throws. How frustrating is it to see how much these free throws are costing you late in games? It's frustrating. It's frustrating for our guys. It's frustrating for everybody. But um, we got to keep working on them, you know. And when you see these issues popping up repeatedly, where you're allowing these games to slip away late in the fourth quarter, I guess what do you do to, t to address the team and try to find a solution? Please? The biggest part is having a level of honesty about it. You know, why is this happening? Um, watching film on it, getting on the floor and practice and working on it, and then showing up the next day. And that's the goal for us. Like, that's the deal. Show up the next day, be ready, own it. And we still got games in front of us. And Coach, when a game comes down to the end with a team that, you know, admittedly the Grizzlies have been further than you guys, a lot bigger playoff runs yeah. and stuff like that, bigger game moments. So is that something that you guys have to hit? You have to find that level, how to fight, how to fight every minute. And um, it's not just like running an offense, but doing everything possible. Because it seems like the Grizzlies were able to do everything they needed to edge out that win. Yeah, they did. Give them credit. Um, this is twice in the last, you know, five or six days or what have you, but they did what they needed to do to win. They executed. They came up with big plays and they have the experience. You know, they've, they've been there, you know, more times than we have. And um, we're a team that we're, we're going to learn from this and we're going to be better uh, when it counts. But right now we've got to go through some of the some of these growing pains. Will, are you surprised that these issues are still coming up? 
up late in games, though? Or? I, I don't want them to happen. <laughs> I, I, I would like to have won this game, but, you know, sometimes they're unpredictable. You don't know that it's going to happen the way it does. And like I said, we own it. We're honest about it. Um, I'm going to take ownership on my part, and our guys will too. We'll get back to work tomorrow. Coach Zion had 17 and 10 at halftime, but in the second half, only six points, one rebound. But he was bringing up the ball more, like more of a point Zion sort of experiment. Yeah. Was that matchup dependent or something you just wanted to get reps of no matter what at this point in the season? Um, it was a combination of just looking at some of the matchups and where we could get him the ball in certain spots. and. That's it. I mean, he'll have the ball, Brandon, CJ. So those guys kind of alternate. And another double-digit lead going by the wayside. Yep. What's the mood of the locker room and how are they taking these defeats? Has it all been the same? Or does it sound like, like an evolution of they're just getting upset or first it's correct mistakes and now it's just – how are they taking these losses? Has it all been the same? Um, it's tough. You know, they don't take these losses lightly, and they shouldn't. Um, but we also have to have a level of big picture. And big picture is is we can learn from this, we can grow from this, and so we're we're all upset, we're all going to be down about it. Uh, but the beauty is we get to come back to work tomorrow, watch film, have a practice, and have an opportunity to get better. Thanks. Okay. Thank you.